Hello and welcome back. My name is Connor Tumblin. I serve in the investment committee here at the Retirement Guys Formula. And today we're going to be sharing with you one of my favorite strategies, the Daily Essentials Portfolio. So here are our disclaimers. And if you'd like, you can take a minute and pause the video and you can feel free to read through all the disclaimers that we have. Now let's get into it. What's an overview of the Daily Essentials Portfolio? This is an all stock portfolio that strives for defensive growth and current income. And it has a target yield between two and 3%. It invests in the type of companies that consumers are always going to support, no matter the state of the economy. So in good times and bad, generally, the consumer is going to support grocery stores, household products, food and beverage companies, and other similar companies. The risk score for this portfolio is currently at 59, which puts it at about a moderate risk level. So this is an objective metric generated by the, the software Riskalyze, and the number is based on the level of potential downside risk that the portfolio faces. And it ranges from zero, which would be very safe, to 100, which would be very risky. Finally, the portfolio is updated at our investment committee's discretion, which means the holdings are switched in and out to ensure that they still fit the portfolio's methodology, making sure that they're still performing well. And also, the weightings of the holdings are sometimes rebalanced whenever they get a little bit too out of balance. So something that we like to ask our clients is, do you own the companies you use every day? So when you want to bulk up on household goods, where do you go? When you want to eat cereal, what brand do you eat? What product do you, do, do you use to disinfect your countertop? Are you invested in any of these companies? So this is why I like this portfolio. Let's run through the morning routine that hundreds of millions of Americans and also people around the world perform every day. So for me, I wake up and I put on my Hanes Brands t-shirt. And then I walk downstairs and I eat my General Mills brand of cereal with the milk that I bought from Kroger. I then wash the dishes with my Procter & Gamble brand of dish soap. And then I clean up the table with my Clorox wipes. I then go back upstairs and then I brush my teeth with my Colgate brand of toothpaste. So the point is the everyday consumer needs these brands to function, whether the economy is doing good or bad. I don't care if interest rates are rising and stocks are down, I'm still going to brush my teeth and I'm gonna eat food and I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up my house. So now getting into more of the portfolio's tendencies with a beta of 0.49, this portfolio is less volatile than the S&P 500, which is what we use as our broader market index. For reference, a beta of 1.0, which would mean that it moves in strong correlation to the market. So at 0.49, this portfolio isn't highly correlated to the S&P 500. So during periods of high growth in the market, say for example, the year 2020 or 2021, daily essentials likely underperform the market during those times. This is because these are more mature companies. They don't have as much room to grow. Um, and they're, they're just not gonna do as hot as some other high growth stocks. But say this year in 2022, um, when there's a larger downturn in the market, the daily essentials portfolio is probably going to outperform. This is because, again, these are more mature companies and they're more established. So rising interest rates, for example, it probably isn't going to affect these companies as much as the rest of the market. Now getting into more of the portfolio statistics, these numbers are generated by the software Riskalyze again, and they represent with 95% certainty the likely range of returns over the next six months, and they use historical data. So Again, going back to say 2020 or 2021 when things were going well, um, the port this portfolio might be up as much as almost 21%. But say again, 2022, when things are going poorly, this portfolio might be down as bad as 12%. And again, this is only a 95% probability, which doesn't include crazy outliers, say, say like the COVID crash or even this year. The portfolio currently has a distribution rate of 2.79 on an annualized basis and it has a zero expense ratio since this is an all stock portfolio. This figure does not include the fees that you pay for, for your management fees to your advisor or retirement guys formula. So finally, the key takeaways for the daily essentials portfolio. This is great for people looking for relatively stable growth and high current income. It's at a moderate risk level and since it's an all stock portfolio, there's no additional expenses beyond management fees. And this would assume that you're in a no transaction fee account at Schwab, which would be standard with our firm. So finally, let's get in touch. If this portfolio is of interest to you, I'd encourage you to reach out to the professional who showed you this video 
or you can call us here at the Retirement Guys Formula at 419-842-0550. And our headquarters, it's located at 1700 Woodlands Drive in Maumee, Ohio. So again, thanks for joining us. I'm Connor Tumblin here from Retirement Guys Formula talking about the Daily Essentials Portfolio. Have a great day and we look forward to getting in touch.